Ball here in the GLIAC, and we are underway as this kick's going to be fielded by Tariq Brett back at the three-yard line here for the Bulldogs. Brett on the return, back to the near side, finds a hole, cuts back. He's got some speed out across the 40. Oh. A flag thrown as he's going to take this one back perhaps to the house. Touchdown, Bulldogs, but we've got a flag all the way back at the 32-yard line. Yeah, that's a tough break for the Bulldogs. And here for the Bulldogs from the 31. Chambliss looking to throw here for the Bulldogs. It's going to take off on the ground. Gets a big block from Wyndham. Hurdles a man. He's got the first down and out of bounds out near midfield. Move the chains again here for the Bulldogs. Well, you can see the right side hash. O'Brien will come back in motion. Chambliss drops back, sets up the screen. He's got Amari. Amari turns back outside and Great it's going tackle. to be tackled here at the 50. Good for a couple yards, but it'll be in finale over Purdue Northwest. McKenzie back to throw, has time. Flush from the pocket, kind of stumbled, but able to keep his footing and get some good yardage here as he turns up field and picks up the first down out near the 29 yard line. On the defensive side, College second and 13, back to throw and McKenzie just got it away to Brown. Somehow avoided the sack. Brown gonna lower the shoulder, but Leno Smith taking none of it. Uh, and a four receiver set, McKenzie in the gun with Brown to his left back to throw across the middle and hooks up. Big catch made, and now a chance to score. Saginaw Valley State to the end zone. Walker on the catch for the touchdown. Yeah, just a great one right there. They had some pressure coming to hit his man, Walker. The north to the south here at Top Taggart Field, and this kick is on the way, and it's up and good, and it's seven to nothing. The Cardinals lead it here as they score on their opening series. It was left side here in the shotgun set for SVSU. Back to throw, pressure coming here. He steps up on the run, now being chased around in the pocket. Somehow finds a man open uh, to the far side. Alston Ware will deliver the hit. Uh, but a nice pick. Valley State has been pretty content to send four here against the pass. They will again here, and Chambliss going to make a move here on the ground. Chambliss uh, not able to get past Kretzinger, who makes the open field 10 for Saginaw Valley State. They've got Kretzinger right in the middle as the middle backer uh, here today for Saginaw Valley. Chambliss, spot throw to the outside. Nice catch. Amari O'Brien able to hold on and very close to a first down. Out to the 42, picked up nine here on the reception. First, second, and one here for the Bulldogs. Rose will move in motion to the wide side. It'll be Brady on the sweep, Ooh, looking to throw. There. He's got Cam Underwood wide open behind the Cardinal defense. Avoids the tackle. Underwood down the sideline. Touchdown, Bulldogs. That should be a face mask against Saginaw Valley at the end of that play. Brady Rose, the high school quarterback, took it on here for Ferris State as the extra point for Mitch is on the way. And it is up and good, and we're squared up at seven. So great answer by the Bulldogs. And Four uh, here as the Cardinals uh, look to fake the pitch. They set up the screen. They got a man wide open here. Alston Ware going to have to make the stop near midfield as they got the Bulldogs on the throw. McKenzie in the gun here for the Cardinals. Back to throw, has time. Now flush from the pocket on the move. Saipaia trying to run him down. He splits the defense, avoids the tackle, and then goes down at the 10-yard line as the Bulldogs the Bulldogs again. Short field goal here, has the distance. It's up, and it is good. Make it 10-7. The Cardinals leader today. Saginaw Valley State trying to... Make a move for first place here in the GLIAC. Chambliss had the option here. Decides to run it back to the near side. He's got some good uh, room to run and a stiff arm here. Gets Ocean. out of Here comes Brett. Chambliss drops back to throw here. Has time. Looking on the short route for James Gilbert. JG to the end zone. Touchdown Bulldogs. Boy, great execution. James Gilbert, a big part of that drive. Big here off the hold of Brady Rose for Ferris State. Hold is down. Kick is on the way. It's got the... Distance, it's up and good. Make it 14 to 10, Bulldogs. So a nice recovery by the Bulldogs. McKenzie here on third down for Saginaw Valley. Will drop back. Quick drop here. Steps up in the pocket. On the move. He's got the first down and then some trying to get to the end zone. And uh, he's going to get there. Touchdown, Cardinals. Yeah, great scramble right there by McKenzie. And that's where he's so dangerous, like uh, those Bulldog quarterbacks over the years. Here to try to make this a 17 to 14 ball game. Extra point is on the way. And it is up and good. So the Cardinals take the lead. Line. Calling in those signals right there. Chambliss back to throw here for Ferris State. Four-man rush delivers the ball. Wide open is Brady Rose at the 45. And he's got it to midfield. And then driven out of bounds here is Ferris. One timeout remaining here as Chambliss will send a man in motion in O'Brien. It'll be Amari on the sweep to the near side. Bulldogs trying to turn the edge. Finally able to do so. And 
Thrown out of bounds here. Short pickup here. It's been tough to run to the outside side here to uh, see what happens here. The Bulldogs are going to run the option again. It'll be Brady Rose. He's tripped He's up on bounds. the play. and well, no, They're going to mark him or at least the uh, mark. Bulldogs are taking touchdown right now. Cats are to the right side of Chambliss. The Bulldogs will... Give it off right up the middle to Katzer, spinning out of a couple tackles. He's got it down inside the five. Move the chains here with 38 seconds. In the shotgun set, now Ahern to the right side here for Ferris State. He's the lead blocker. Chambliss to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And I was sort of right. They did run the Tim Bob side. Good job there by Zach Ahern. Second half of action. Yeah, rotating a lot of bodies in, especially at that linebacker level, too. They're coming with the heat right now, but second off Valley State. Able to connect on the short pass play. All the way out here is one of the ends here for Ferris State. It'll be McKenzie on the keep to the left side and thrown down by Jalen Jones as he gets it out to the 30. To the left, two to the right. Here is Rose will move in motion to the short side. Trinidad looking to air it out here over the top. He's got JG. Gilbert with the reception. Spun forward and down inside the 25. Boy, how active has James Gilbert been as he signals the season for the Bulldogs. O'Brien comes inside, option pitch to Brady Rose. Rose trying to turn it outside. Brady to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Boy, great block there by Amari O'Brien. Helps spring Brady Rose for the touchdown. Be the snapper here for Ferris State on this PAT try. Middleton, the junior uh, here, boots this one through the uprights to give the Bulldogs a 7-17. Bulldogs showing some pressure. They'll send three. Now they're going to send four. McKenzie drops back to his own half of the field, unloads the football, and it was caught here at the 30, short of the first down play in this third quarter. McKenzie fakes the toss pitch. They try to set up the screen. They've got it here to the outside, and Kraft hauls it in down the sideline. Going to be marked out of bounds near the 11-yard line. It'll be first and 10 here for the Cards VSU as they plunge it forward. Touchdown, Saginaw Valley as they run it right up the middle and rambling through. Saginaw Valley able to capitalize with the short field here as they find the end zone, and now they pull within three here at 27 to 24 with the made point after. And an unfriendly reminder, Bulldogs got up to Four receivers in the package as cats are motions out. Trinidad looking to throw here for the Bulldogs. Thrown complete to Tariq Brett and out of bounds out near the 38-yard line. Move the chains here at midfield with it for Saginaw Valley State as they send a man in motion. It'll be McKenzie turning back to the near side. Squirted through the hole and gets it down to the 44. Picked Stands up. in the pocket. Second and nine here for the Bulldogs. Back to throw. Chambliss now on the design run. Right up the middle to the near side. And a horse collar, maybe. He takes a hard shot. 12 here for Saginaw Valley. Brown to the right side of McKenzie. He'll keep it off the right side. Lowers the shoulder and gets it back to about the 37-yard. Last check for Ferris State as Brown shifts right side of McKenzie. Option pitch to McKenzie on the outside as they try to turn it upfield. Eric Jackson coming up to make the stop at the 40 on the Bulldogs here in this fourth quarter a play. McKenzie back to throw, flushed again. He's got some room to run. McKenzie to the 30 and brought down by Justin Payout to the 28, but another first down Close here. And now Chambliss game. can't game. take the knee. That's game. He'll take it here for Ferris State. And both teams will get ready to head to the middle of the field, I believe, as Ferris State wins it 27 to 24. The Bulldogs hold on to get the win over the Cardinals this afternoon. Great battle here between the Bulldogs and the Cardinals. Right, Ryan Brady furious at the officials for that pass interference call. So Ferris State gets the win to move to 9-1 and one on the year, and the Bulldogs clinch at least a share of the